Good people of the world, good people of the world, good people of the world. Rev Mio TV. Hey man, we going to break down all of these American presidents. We going to break them down. All of these American presidents, starting with the very first president of the United States of America, Mr. George Washington. George Washington. The good the bad and the ugly. And we're going to be breaking down all of these presidents and a lot of other people throughout history. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Rev Mio TV. Hey, go check out Life in Football with Mr. Colin Moore and go check out Atlanta Street Interview. Marcus the Interviewer. Marcus the Interviewer. So look, Check this out, man. George Washington, born in 1732. Let's look at old George Washington, man. What was we taught in school about George Washington? Well, we was taught that George Washington was a good guy. We was taught that George Washington was just a hero. We was taught all the good stuff about George Washington. We was taught that George Washington was so honest that he cut down a, a cherry tree. He chopped that cherry tree down. And his father asked, who did this to the cherry tree? George Washington supposed to be so honest. He said to his father, Paul, Paul, I can't lie. I chopped down the cherry tree. And we were taught that George Washington was the first president of the United States, that he was commander in chief. OK, but let's look at George Washington. Let's look at his life, the good, the bad and the ugly. We're going to break it down in just a few minutes. OK, George Washington born. In Virginia, 1732, right, on a plantation. George Washington was born on a plantation. Okay, we can't fault him for that. He was born on a slave plantation, right? That meant, well, that his parents probably was crap. You understand? Y'all know I don't curse. Listen. So now let's look at a couple of other things with George Washington. George Washington was a religious man. He was a religious man. He was a part of the church. George Washington was a part of the Anglican church where he um, served as, he served in position in the Anglican church. Um, he served as a vestry man. A vestry man is, is um, not really a clergy, but a leader in the church. So he was a leader in the church. Okay, I kind of give him that right there. You know what I'm saying? Um, he was also a church warden. Church warden is somebody that um, assisted, say, for instance, mostly like a substitute priest that came in. Church warden would be somebody to kind of assist them and do administrative work, stuff like that along those lines, right? George Washington was a part of the Anglican church. George Washington was a married man. George Washington met his wife, Martha, and married Martha in 1759. Well, what do we learn about Martha? Martha was married. Her first husband died and Martha inherited 84 slaves. Well, when she and George got married, they combined their slaves together. And now they had a whole bunch of slaves, right? By the time that George Washington died, by the time that George Washington died, George Washington had owned or been in charge of, bought and sold 577 slaves, enslaved black people, right? They didn't teach us this part in history. They didn't teach us in American history that George Washington was a rotten, low-down, dirty slave owner. George Washington, all they taught us was he's a hero. He's a good guy. He's the founding father of one of the founding fathers of the United States of America. He's the very first president of the United States of America. He was also a low-down, dirty, riding slave owner. Let's look at something else about George Washington. Oh, man, he was nasty, too. Let's look at it. Y'all know George Washington had some. I'm talking about George Washington had one of the most rotten, foul mouth you ever want to see, right? Let's look at George Washington's mouth, right? Look at George Washington's dentures. These are George Washington's. 
real dentures that's been preserved. These are his dentures. They're somewhere in a museum. I think they're holding them in Mount Vernon somewhere in a museum. These are George Washington's dentures. But let's talk about these dentures, though, right? Oh, it's a story behind these dentures. Okay. George Washington's failing teeth were a source of regular suffering throughout his entire life. At age 24, Washington recorded in his diary that he paid five shillings to a Dr. Watson who removed one of his teeth. Listen, George Washington's mouth was so bad, so stinking, so funky, this man had one good tooth left in his mouth, right? He had one good tooth left in his mouth, right? So then George Washington, it said that he purchased teeth from an unidentified enslaved person at Mount Vernon. Now let's really put two and two together. Two and two equals four. Him being a slave master, he didn't buy no teeth from no slave. He took this man's teeth, okay? He took the man's teeth out his mouth. Ain't nobody selling their teeth, man. So anyway, George Washington, he had a rotten mouth. He took this man's teeth out of his mouth and he made a set of dentures. And these are his dentures made with real teeth inside. Okay? Now let's look at um one more thing about old George. George Washington, it's said that him and his wife did not father any kids together. However, y'all know these rotten, low-down slave owners. They was always sleeping with the slaves. They was always impregnating the slave woman. They was always having babies with these slaves, not claiming them, not taking care of these slaves, not care, taking care of basically their own children, their own blood. History says, for a long time, they just said that um, George Washington did not father any children and didn't father any children with his slaves, but all them slave masters were sleeping with the slaves. The, 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 the matter of fact, the, the, the mistress was sleeping with the slave men too. So anyway, however, in 1999, the Baltimore Sun also reported that descendants of Venus's son West Ford claimed that Washington was his father based on family tradition. Oh, I know it's kind of hard to prove it. I know it's kind of hard to prove it, right? But all you got to do is go back and dig some people up, do some DNA tests. Oh, you'll find Washington, you, you'll find George Washington's blood in some of these black people. I guarantee you, you will. I guarantee you, you will, like the rest of them, okay? So anyway, man, George Washington, the good, the bad, and the ugly. What do we say about old George Washington, man? What do we say about old George Washington? The good, the bad, and the ugly, man. Okay, he was a good commander-in-chief, I suppose. They came over here and took a whole country. They, you know what I'm saying? They, he helped to defeat the British. He became the first president, the first commander-in-chief. But not really. We'll talk about who was really the first um, leader, president of the United States. One day we'll talk about that. So the good thing is, okay, he was a strong leader. I, I can't necessarily say he was a good one. The bad, oh man, the man had terrible teeth. I can imagine this man had halitosis, bad breath, um, gingivitis. Um, he had to get dentures at the age of 24. And the ugly, he was a rotten, low-down slave owner. And when he died, he freed one of his slaves. At the time of his death, he and his wife together owned over 700 slaves together. At the time of his death, he freed one slave at the time of his death and then commanded that the other slaves serve his wife until her death. So George Washington, the good, the bad, and the ugly, the first president of the United States of America.